All right, so today's video is all about video. So let me explain. I have seen quite a lot of websites having this kind of effect on and I thought to recreate it. So the effect that I'm talking about is a video in the shape of a pill, basically that shows a video playing on mute looping and once you hover over it the video basically expands you can have a better view of what is playing in the video as well as unmuting the video so you can hear or listen to what is being said or played and i think it's very interesting especially if you are a digital artist like a web designer web developer graphic designer whatever where you can basically have your show reel playing on hero section so let's get into it all right so the first thing we are going to do as always we are going to create our structure and that is adding a container so we are going to set the container to be full width and i'm going to give it a height of 50 vh and i will also give it a direction horizontal and this is just my personal preference in this case in this instance it is up to you how you set your structure all right so i'm just going to give it a little bit of space on top and now we are going to be adding our second container this container will hold our video widget for the video player pill <laughs> that we're going to be creating all right so make sure that this container is set to flat uh, to full width otherwise the effect is not gonna work i cannot explain why but it's not going to work just keep that in mind all right so i'm going to set the width of this container to be 24 and i am going to go to the container the main container the main structure and i am going to justify the content end so our container the second container is going to sit on the uh, right hand side or left hand side the way you see it is it like that anyway and now we are ready to add our video widget just drag it in here uh, let's set this to be justify content center all right so now we are in the video widget and if you go to content you will see that you have a few options for sources so i am going to choose to be self-hosted and i am going to use the an external link and this is a video that i stole from a website but you can put whatever you want here your own reel obviously don't steal from anyone this is just for demonstration purposes so all right let's set the video options we want it to autoplay right but we don't want it to be um, unmuted so we're gonna set it to mute we're gonna set it to loop as well and we're gonna leave the show player controls because if the user wants to hover over the video turn on the sound maybe they want to go further video they don't want to the whole video they have options so leave the controls on unless you don't want to all right so because i want some space here uh, at, on the right left hand side i'm going to go in this container and i'm going to set the mar the margin right to be 50. So now let's add a class to this container and as you can see the video already has changed shape because i already have the css on this page so let me bring in the css and i will paste it in here all right as you can see these are the values that we need to input for this to look the way it looks all right so all right while we are in this container we are going to go to style and we are going to go all the way to border and make sure that you set the border radius to 50 pixels and now our video has the shape of a pill as intended right this is what we wanted all along and as you can see the video once hovered has pointy corners we don't want to have this when the video has expanded so let's go to the video let's go to the video border and go to hover and set the border radius to 15 pixels and as you can see when you hover the video is extending to have uh, rounded corners that's what we wanted all along so let's have a look quick preview and it's fantastic okay the next thing we are going to be doing is we're gonna add our 
icon. So let's go and look for an icon widget or the icon widget and drop it in here. And I'm going to go and set this to have a position absolute. And now, as you can see, our icon is in a weird place, but we are going to be fixing this. So go all the way to the horizontal orientation and set the offsets to percentages, first of all. And the horizontal offset is going to be about seven and the vertical offset is going to be 15. But obviously this depends on the size of the icon. So first of all, I am going to upload an SVG. Actually, I already have and I will insert it here. But let's go first of all to our view and set it to stacked. All right, this is horrendous, but let's set the primary color, the background to white. Secondary color is going to be none. In my case, obviously, let's set the size to be uh, maybe here, adding this should do. And I'm going to give it a rotation of 45 degrees. All right, let me try something out. And yeah, I think this is much better. Yeah. All right. So now that is set, we are good to go. Let's publish and let's have another look. Yeah, it seems like we need to reposition a little bit of the icon. So I'm going to go at the advanced tab and move it a little bit. I think this should do. This is nice, right? Okay, now it's time for the second option of this video pill. So we are going to be adding an HTML tag in here and I will drop in my structure and as you can see it's the video that you saw playing in the first option and I have given this a class so I can add some additional CSS if I want and basically the options for this video are exactly the same as the ones for the video widget from Elementor. You can even add some extra things here if you want. And this is the good thing about this second option is a little bit more flexible. So if you're more adventurous and you want something extra to add it to this, then by all means use this one. Otherwise, I think you're good with the first option. So I am not going to be adding the icon that we have here. You have seen how this is built, but it basically works the same way. So yeah, let's have a look. Go back to our preview. All right, so this is the first option and this is the second. They are exactly the same, right? Nothing different about them, but the second option has more possibilities let's say. All right. So let me know in the comments below if you like this. I honestly love it. And I've been trying to, I was wrecking my brains how to make it because I want to add it to the landing page slash one page website that I am designing. And this is that little extra thing that I can add on the hero section or anywhere on the page to add a little bit more movement to the website. The codes will be in the description below as always. And that's it. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.